Hi, I'm Bruce Berry with Hatch Outdoors, and I'm down here at Caddisfly to talk about the new hatch reels. Uh, this morning I went out with uh, Chris Daughters and his son. They kicked my butt thoroughly on mountain bikes, so I thought I'd do something more on my speed, which is sitting down and talking. So introducing the new Hatch Iconic lineup is what we're here to do today. If you want to see all the design features, you can go to hatchoutdoors.com and go through the design features or all the local fly shops that carry them. Caddisfly has all of the A to Z soup to nuts on why these reels are different. We'll go over them kind of in brief and hit a couple of points a little bit more in depth. And we just want a main overview. So three plus stays, uh, four plus, five plus, seven plus, nine plus, and 11 plus is the lineup in the Iconic. They're available in both large arbor and mid arbor. The large arbor has one row of fins, kind of like with the Iconic thing. The old reels used to have a row of dots to show you it was a mid arbor, so it's easy to tell mid arbor apart from large arbor so we've gone back to the roots part of the whole deal with the reel being called iconic and so each of the reels are available from five through eleven in a mid or a large the three and four are one arbor only makes it simple and gone from the lineup for this year in 2021 is our old reliable 12 plus the big boy and the little bitty baby 2 plus which was a really cool reel I was a little bit sad to see that go and for some of the new design features, it's a new styling thing. It still features the six windows on the front, uh, excuse me, six windows on the back, 12 windows on the front, but it's got a deeper drag knob. It's got a new and redone spool nut, which is both of them are easy to get your paws on. It's got a newly designed slimmer profile foot. It's still one piece machined into the frame, which has always been a really nice feature of hatch reels. Uh, they're strong and it's a great place to wrap your leader around, fly back to the guide without pinching off your leader material. Um, some of the other features are bright dip finish over matte anodized so you get something that's kind of blingy but still softly blingy. And then we've got a carbon filled, i to say that correctly, a carbon filled drag material rather than the old Rulon which equates to easier startup and just a smoother reel overall. Justin, why don't you kick that thing a little harder? <laughs> And um, actually, I've got some experience with the reels. If you guys care to hear about it, we went up and fished uh, close to the Canadian border and the first three or four fish I hooked, the first thing I wanted to do was tighten the drag. And my brain kind of stopped and thought, well, I just lined the rod, I just set the drag, I just checked the drag, so let's play it out and see how it goes. I think it's kind of like when you get your truck out of the shop and you can actually feel the difference and it runs better. This thing is that much smoother right on the startup, so I ended up not messing with it and it just took a while to get used to it, but they are smoother, they do dissipate heat faster which is obviously going to be more important in the 7 through 11 range, but excellent reels. For the inside, let me pull one apart real quick. When you get your hatch reel, it will come with a fitted neoprene sack with a little V for the reel handle to fit out. The hatch has never built a better reel case than this year. So we'll pull that apart, and inside your box you'll get a case, a spool, a frame, and one of two of these little keys. So the small guy will fit the three smaller reels, big guy will fit the biggest reels. So in the old days there was a set screw and you pull the drag cassette out of the back side. That's another big change for hatch this year. The big one. So you put that if there's a reason to get in here. <clears throat> First couple of turns are going to be kind of tough to get it rolling. And once you loosen it a few times And you can unwind it with your hand. So reasons for taking this apart, big time saltwater trip, lots of dunking, I don't know, pull this apart, let it sit overnight. You just want to see the insides of the reel. It's great to pull it apart. Um, how good is this new ceiling? The rumor has it that Danny Ashcraft, the CEO of Hatch, has said that if he had the wherewithal to build this reel this way in the beginning, this is how we would know hatch reels. So it becomes more stable in the drag system, not being a two-piece system and the drag built directly into the frame. It's much easier now to take and flip the bearing from right to left hand retrieve. And the tool comes with it. Also find that this side of the tool fits that thing, you can unscrew it, dump. Bring it back to your shop, let it mess with it. Um, all you really need to do is pop it apart to change the bearing for your left to right hand retrieve or if something does go wrong with the reel hatch needs to be able to get into the guts if you send it back to them. But excellent system and very user friendly. 
Um, now just for a little bit of word on sizes, the two major different reels, in my opinion, from Hatch this year are the Iconics 5 and the Iconic 7. Which in the series, this is a quarter inch taller. So we've got something that'll go through seven through ten weight for flats fishing, deep water fishing. Uh, it'll handle a skagit and a scandy for a seven weight and a maybe 225 yards of backing. So it's really quintessentially perfect for 12 and a half foot to 13 and a half foot, six and seven weight spay rods. It's going to be great for seven weight through ten weight rods, saltwater and blue water fishing. And the five plus being a little bit bigger is something that I think the five in the past was a little too small for the nine foot eight weight. The seven might have been just slightly on the large side, but that's kind of a perfect nine foot seven weight. Even up to a nine foot eight weight, there's plenty of capacity if you go with the mid-arbor configuration. And mid-arbor gives you more capacity. And then we have some changes, slighter changes in the nine and the 11. That's probably your everyday 12 weight reel. And also, some guys just prefer a little bit more weight on their spare rods. I get it, sometimes you think that the weight down low and the way the rod moves creates tip speed and tip speed creates line speed, so throw that on your seven weight, throw that on your seven weight, either one works, can be a preference. Then we get into the 11 plus, and I mean, that's just for predators. <laughs> GTs, light shark fishing, I mean, probably mako shark fishing, I mean, anything that's gonna no. give this thing a, a run for its money. And if you're down in Baja and you're into bigger rooster fish, I think, you know, the drag is going to benefit you. You can maybe turn an hour long fight into 45 minutes or a three hour fight into two and a half hours. There's definitely a lot of power there. And uh, 11 plus is new and redone with the carbon fill drag the whole nine yards. These are great. If you want to see them in person, stop by the Caddisfly shop. They have them in stock and ready to roll. And you'll see more coming out as we get into fall and winter. Thanks for taking a look.